Good evening, everybody. Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People, December 22nd, 2022. I have some more information here I want to share with you. And uh, I got this information from someone in, a, uh, in an email. And uh, they saw my video about the Fletcher planetoid and how it is in the alignment there uh, right next to the sun and the moon and uh, the alignment of planets and everything we're looking at for midweek Hanukkah with the uh, the sun in the golden gate in between Ophiuchus and uh, Sagittarius right there in the Milky Way. Okay, and uh, so this information was uh, sent uh, to me about the meaning of the Fletcher planetoid and there is another uh there's another um, body in this alignment, and the name of the the name of this uh, this other body that is in the alignment is Esther. Esther is right there in this alignment. So let's take a look at these two uh, situations here, and uh, we'll look at the meaning of everything. This is going to be amazing. Okay, the first thing is, um, and I, I already showed you, I showed you in my previous video just about an hour or so ago, that uh, there is a planetoid called uh, Fletcher, or it's an asteroid, um, but according to a Stellarium Mobile, it shows up as a planetoid, but it's uh, in the alignment there right by uh, the sun and the moon, um, Basically, it's in the constellation of Libra, while the sun and the moon are in between uh, Ophiuchus and Sagittarius. And then we have, above the sun and the moon, we have Venus, uh, Saturn, and Jupiter. Okay, Now, asteroid 3265 Fletcher was discovered on November 9th, 1953 by Carl Reinmuth at Heidelberg, Baden-Württemberg, Germany. It has a period of three years, 272 days, and is about 3.3 3 or 3 and two-thirds miles in diameter. Okay, it was named for British sailor Bounty Mutiny leader and Pitcairn Island settler Fletcher Christian. Okay. Wow, praise God, praise God. There is a, a testimony here. There's a testimony of Jesus Christ. There's a testimony of the the gospel of Jesus Christ in the name Fletcher. There's a uh, planetoid up there in the heavens, right there as we're watching this exact situation with uh, the winter solstice, the golden gate, we're watching uh, Satan being cast down uh, with this, this the, the location of the sun right there in Ophiuchus, where where it represents Michael casting out uh, the serpent. Okay, now listen to this, and you guys can uh, decide for yourself if this uh, if this works, if this is correct, if this. Uh, even would describe what the Lord has called me to do as I am seeking. I'm not there yet. We're not there yet, but we're, we're looking, we're searching, we're trying to. Astrologically, asteroid Fletcher seems to indicate the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune hitting the mark or nailed. Okay. All right. Well, this this piece of information was sent to me, so I, I had looked this up uh, when when originally uh, someone sent me this information. Um, but when I when I did my video, I didn't get into this, and I I had forgotten actually. I had forgotten about this, but this was just sent to me in an email, and uh, so this is the information on this. The slings and arrows of outrageous fortune hitting the mark nailed, and it was named after Fletcher Christian. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, Esther. Okay, same day, same time on the search here. Uh, this is tomorrow, just before midnight, tomorrow. 
Tomorrow represents midweek Hanukkah. Okay. Tomorrow represents midweek Hanukkah between December 22nd and 23rd. And uh, I showed you earlier. Let me go back to that and I'll show you again. Just to confirm with you once again why we're watching December 22nd through December 23rd as midweek Hanukkah. Remember, we are watching according to the Torah calendar, which has the correct beginning of Hanukkah based on the new moon of November 25th. Based on this day being day one of the calendar, uh, Kislev 24 was December 18th through December 19th, and then Hanukkah begins on December 19th through December 20th, and it goes all the way through to December 26th and December 27th. So if we go here to the middle of Hanukkah, one, two, three, four days, the fourth day of Hanukkah, right here, remember Lazarus was resurrected on the fourth day. He had been dead four days, okay? There was a delay. They were expecting him. And why do I talk about Lazarus and Hanukkah? Because if you read John chapter 10, you're going to know John chapter 10 is the, is Hanukkah. Jesus escaped out of their hands on Hanukkah, okay? And then it goes right into John chapter 11, and that is the resurrection of Lazarus. And Lazarus was resurrected on the fourth day, okay? So we, we have a midweek Hanukkah that we're watching, and it looks to be December 22nd through December 23rd, okay, the fourth day of Hanukkah. And this coincides with the sign that I received in 2012 when the Lord gave me a sign in the sun, and it was midweek Hanukkah, and this is how I understood it, and this is how my sign came, okay, on this day. Okay, so where the, where the Fletcher asteroid was is down here, underneath the sun and the moon okay that we i just showed you where the where the fletcher asteroid was it was down here okay same day on the time search now you go up above the sun and the moon you have venus saturn and jupiter and right there is esther okay so in this whole line lineup right here you've got the fletcher asteroid and you've got the esther asteroid okay now look at look at all of this information and what it means. What does this mean? Right here, what does this mean? Asteroid 622, Esther, was discovered on November 13th, 1906, in Taunton, Massachusetts. It has a period of three years, 277 days, and is about 13 three-fifths miles in diameter. Look at that number right there. I didn't even see this. I'm just seeing it right now, and it just comes to 1335 right there, 1335. Blessed is he who comes to the 1,335 days. This is an amazing number right there. Biblically speaking, it's within this, uh, this asteroid. This is the diameter of this asteroid, 13 three-fifths. If you read it across, it's 1335. Now, it was likely named for the heroine of the book of Esther in the Old Testament. Esther Hadassah, the wife of King Xerxes, called a Hasuerus in the Bible who intervened to thwart a plotted massacre of her people. You know that Esther was married on the last day of Hanukkah. Okay, and what did she do? The meaning of asteroid Esther seems to be to rescue engaging rescues okay esther rescued her people she rescued her people before the king she went before the king and because of her intercession the people of god were saved okay esther and it's all connected to hanukkah because she was married on the on the seventh day of hanukkah which was the first day of tevet Okay, so this is an amazing conjunction right here in this lineup, especially where we are right now in the week of Hanukkah. All of this is connected also to the asteroid Fletcher in the same alignment. And this is the, the important part of the whole winter solstice is, is the sun, right? The sun is the, is the central focus of the winter solstice. And it's right there in Ophiuchus where Michael is throwing out the serpent, Okay, this is a very key uh, time of year and why they, they celebrate so much this, uh, this winter solstice. You know, it's like the darkest night, the longest night of the year. And it's a night of, 
uh, it's a night of uh, mystery and 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 darkness and witchcraft and it's the rebirth of the of the of all the the antichrists throughout history of Nimrod and of Zeus and all of the uh, all of the all of the gods that are connected to uh, the winter solstice and their rebirth on on Christmas. Okay, so it's this time frame that we're watching. Well, the meaning of asteroid Esther seems to be to rescue or engaging in rescues. And if you look up the number 622, asteroid 622, okay, Esther. In the Hebrew concordance, 622 means to gather or to remove. Oh, God, this is amazing information people this is amazing information okay so I, I thank uh my brother here who who sent me this information thank god that there are many many people uh getting together to put stuff together to to gather uh information and to search and it's just there's so many people involved with with all of this and so i i'm just I'm just sharing with you. I'm just sharing with you. What does this mean? What does this mean? I mean, Esther here, this means the rescue, to gather, remove. H how is all of this happening? All of these signs are all coming together, okay? And uh, I don't even know where to start looking, and things just get sent to me. And I, and, and what am I supposed to do? I, I can't keep this to myself. I got to share this. I got to share this with you, okay? So this is what I'm doing. I'm doing my job. I'm doing my part. And I'm just wanting everybody to be excited and ready and, and just looking up always because our Redeemer is coming for his bride. Our Redeemer is coming, okay? So I love you guys. And I, I hope that, man, this would be so awesome if we could be together in the next 24 hours. I mean, we don't know. You know, we're not trying to predict exactly what is going to happen when, but we just know it's closer and closer. It's closer every day, okay? And we have all of these signs now, and we're right here in Hanukkah, and, you know, Hanukkah, Hanukkah. There, is that part of, is that part of Hanukkah? Is that the nuke part that's right in the name, Hanukkah? That why is that why we're seeing all of the nuclear weapons being put in place and all of the Russians being ready with their bomb shelters by Christmas time? Something could happen at any moment now, and we just have to stay ready and stay alert. So I just wanted to share all of this information with you guys. I pray you're blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.